time for another special guest to get something off their chest. Time to get on your box. Today we're joined by Harold Scrooby from the Pedestrian Council. Harold, what's on your mind? Disqualified drivers. Um, in Australia today, if you're caught doing a burnout, a wheelie, racing, you lose your car for three months. But if you're caught being a disqualified driver, and over 2% of our motorists are disqualified, they give you your car back the next morning. Now, most of these people are either guilty of speeding or serious alcohol offences. Imagine giving an alcoholic his car back the next morning. In New Zealand, if you get caught for the same offence, you lose your car for three months. On the second occasion, you forfeit your vehicle. We're calling on all Australian legislators to look at this very seriously. Our magistrates do not send these people to jail. You often see these people leave the courts disqualified and walk straight back to their cars and drive home. These people are very, very dangerous. We have to put a stop to it. We must take away their vehicles. Please, legislators. Disqualified drivers must lose their vehicles. Harold. Wow. A really good, because the other thing is, if they hit you, there's no insurance cover or anything like that. There can be, but it's, they certainly there's no insurance cover on the motor vehicle. Yeah. There is some, if, if they injure you, there's, there's cover. Yeah. But if, if they hit your vehicle and they've got no money, it's very, very difficult to, to sue them. Mm. Mm. OK, that's a really good point. Mm. Uh, I didn't realise we were so slack. Very sort of slack. Area. Mate, good to see you. Thank, Thank you very much. much.